What is up guys, it's Nick here and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Lilliputian library which is a very uh, simple but very efficient library where you can actually shade uh, dependencies in your plugin without actually shading them. I know that doesn't make any sense but I'm going to show you what I mean in a few seconds, right? Not now. So, as we, if we go to our POM or POM or whatever you want to call this, uh, you can see that we have the Lilliputian library as a dependency and we have actually shaded it in our plugin and that, that's the only thing that you have to shade. The, the rest will be taken care of by, by the library. And for this example, we're going to be shading the, or semi-shading, the Packet Events API, which I've made a tutorial for in the past. And I'm, I'm just going to assume that you're familiar with it. Anyway, so as you can see, we have, um, we have added it as provided. And you're probably looking at this and being like, what, what the f are you doing? Like, why, why is this provided? You know, usually, you you have to shade the packet events library into your plugin or because if we since it's provided now if we actually do stuff in our plugin and then compile it and run it on the server the server is gonna you know throw a bunch of errors because the packet events doesn't exist in our jar but we're gonna add it with the Lipushin library and i'm gonna show you how it's done so the first thing that we have to get to English, yeah. So the first thing that we have to do uh, to add dependencies and load them, first let's make a uh, variable. So do Lipushin, Lipushin equals new, no, Lipushin. And it takes a variable, which is the plugin instance, so what is this? And let's actually make this final, because it makes sense if it's final. All right, perfect. So if we want to add dependencies to a plugin, we do Lilliputian uh, get dependency builder, add dependency, not load dependency. We have to load the dependencies at the end once we add the dependencies that we want. And then I'm a new dependency. And I'm actually going to do this so it looks cleaner. So it takes four variables, which is the uh, repository, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Anyways, so let's see. <laughs> so it takes the repository, so we can do repository. And then if we do dot, you're going to see that we can do jetpack or custom, Maven central or sona type. So since packet events use jetpack, we're going to be using jetpack in this one for this example. And we do comma, and then we go down here. I think this takes the group ID. I hope it does. So let's go to our palm and copy the group ID. Let's go. Okay. And let's paste this here. And this should be the artifact ID. Let's see, artifact ID. Yeah. Perfect. And then. Now we need the, yeah, I was right. So group ID, name, and version. All right, perfect. So the version, let's, I think it was 1.6.9. Yeah, 1.6.9. Perfect. All right. Uh, you know, if you have more dependencies, you can just do dot add dependency and then do this all over again. But for this example, we're just gonna do this one. So. Let's do load dependencies since we have actually, you know, added the dependency, and we're practically done, basically. So now that we did that, we can actually go ahead and use the packet events API. So we do packet events. Let, let's get this uh, initialized first, so we can get this over with. Uh, wait, wait, oh yeah, we need to load first, and then packet events start. Oops, start. And then, oh no, there's a new new method in it. And this, and then hike events. Oops, oh my god, I did. Oh my, yeah. <laughs> hike events stop. Okay, so we're basically done. But what will happen if I just, you know, implement 
packet listener and start using you know the packet events API before we load the dependencies well it's gonna throw a bunch of errors because uh, we're implementing packet listener when when the server starts this doesn't exist yet we need to load this first so we're not gonna do this in this class and we're not gonna register in this class so what we can do and actually what we will do you can make this better I'm just gonna use this as an example I'm gonna make a new class and actually let's make the packet listener first so let's name this example example all right implements packet listener and let's do an example let's do packet handler public void a packet or whatever oops packet receive event e and i don't know for this example we're just going to do a round of packets so we can confirm that everything works perfectly in game so if e get a packet id packet type client and yeah sure this one so if it's a slot packet we're gonna broadcast uh, ha. yeah that's a perfect indicator to test that something's working perfectly okay but we're gonna make another class and uh, we're gonna call this I don't know manager sounds good <laughs> so yeah let's make a void and let's call this initialize and we're gonna have to get events get api get event manager uh, this listener new example perfect and now we can go to our main class and do new manager perfect and now we're practically done so I'm gonna go ahead and compile this and I'll see you guys in game all right so as you can see every time we change our slot it sends the ha message in the chat which means everything is working perfectly and packet events has been a oh shit why do I always get hunted down by monsters every time I try to record anyways so as you can see everything is working perfectly without uh, manually shading the packet events API into a plugin so what happened when the server started um, Lipushin downloaded the library and then our plugin was able to you know utilize it because we already had it as provided so we added our own packet listener for ha so yeah, what the fuck is going on in here? Why are they chasing it? Alright, whatever. So there's something else that I want to, I want to show you guys. And I want to show you where the files or the dependencies are being downloaded on the server start. So I'll see you guys soon. Alright, we are now on our plugins folder. And as you can see, we have the test jar that we just made. But you'll also notice that we have this folder called Lilliputian Libraries and this is the folder that everything will get downloaded into. As you can see we wanted packet events, so we got packet events in here. And the good thing about the Lilliputian library is that as you can see our plugin is actually you know 30 kilobytes, which is nothing basically. And we're using the packet events library without it being on the jar itself so the jar itself is only 30 kilobytes and the packet events library gets downloaded into here and then our plugin can use it so yeah that's the Lilliputian library and yeah I hope you guys use it and I hope you find this helpful so thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later peace I think I'm falling for you.